I'm wedding and portrait photographer Vanessa Joy and today I'm showing you how to photograph a groom getting ready. That's it. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. You're going to follow me along as if you were my assistant for the day. There are a couple things I want to let you know that I'm looking for. I want to get wide, tight, and medium shots, not only so I'm capturing the ambiance as well as the small details, but it's going to work better in the album afterwards, which I will show you how I design it and just to tell a story and to be able to see everything and let it flow nicely. All right, cool. First time in a business, we turned off all the lights in here. So we're just working with natural light, one color. I'm shooting with the R5. I'll probably be at a high ISO. So, well, this, hand, this camera can handle it. I'm not too worried. This is so funny. I almost never shoot this because all my second shooters do this. <laughs> do that again where you're just holding your bow tie. And then you said you had a vest. But put that on right where you are. And then you're going to face that way while you do it. That's okay, the longer it takes you to put on, the more pictures I get. <laughs> it's a win-win. Actually, go ahead and do this, but turn your head all the way that way. Get in the jawline. Yeah, just kind of fold it over your arm. Nice. You're gonna look kind of that way. That looks fantastic. And then look down at your ring or like pretend you're doing your buttons. And then look out towards the window again. And then look back down towards your buttons. Right there, stand up and you'll put on the jacket. Nice. Uh, look down at your buttons so you look like you're... Stay right there. Might feel weird, but tilt your... So look that way, but tilt your head, yep, towards me. Let's set up one more shot of you like um, just touching everything up. And then look up in the mirror, kind of do your collar. Look all the way that way, nice. That's what it's like shooting a getting ready session for a groom. Now let me show you what it looks like when we put the whole story together in editing and the album. So here are the photos that were edited by Freedom Edits and they did a great job. They look amazing, love them, and definitely to my style. However, a lot of these photos, I just got inspired while I was taking them and wanted to have more of a dark, ominous kind of feel. So these are the out of camera ones and I've already selected some that I want to show. Really these right here, let me make it bigger so we chop out everything else. Here to here. These are the photos that I'm gonna go ahead and edit myself and I'm just gonna pull them into Lightroom. So, well, for one, it's fun. And two, it's gonna be a little bit different than what I do normally and what my editors know to do for me. All right, so let's get to some of my favorites and just start developing them. For the most part, I really wanted that dark and moody look. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do here. I'll probably just start with my Joyfully Simple. That tends to be a good starting point and then maybe just up the contrast and mess with the exposure a little bit. A lot of these I honestly am picturing in black and white, so I'll start off with this exposure. Maybe I'll just create virtual copies of pretty much everything. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's give that a try. And then I could just end up with, yeah, that's what I wanted. All right, so this might be pretty fast. <laughs> might be a black and white fun day because that's definitely what I was going for when I was taking these photos. This photo right here, again, the way I took it, it really was going against what I was, what my typical brand is. So it's a little bit different, but I don't mind it. So here's what I came up with, and I do have some that I liked in color versus black and white, and some I'm still deciding. So I'm gonna put them all up here just so I can take a look and figure out which I like better, which is always hard, that black and white or color decision. I think these photos are too similar, and I like this one better, so let's take that out. And remember, after this, we are gonna go ahead and put this all in an album design. I think I'll choose. 
choose that one color. I love this one in color. So this one's going and these two, I just don't know. Let's just stick it in black and white. All right, let's get these into my album design program. So I have 20 photos here that are ready for an auto design. I always start off with the auto design and let's just give this 20 images. Let's just give this, I don't know. Uh, how many pages? 14 pages. <laughs> let's go with that. And I am using the filtered images. Let's just see what comes up. And now I do have repetitive images in here. Remember, because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, I'm gonna come up here, change my image spacing. I just like a little bit more of a gap between photos. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is try to find photos that I think will look good all by themselves. Like that one right there is pretty epic and it's a little bit close here to this line. So I'm going to go for the asymmetrical look just like that this is also a really strong photo i'll have to see where we want to put that love this photo and i tend to like to put all the black and whites on the same page so let's see what we got when we start moving stuff around All right, so here's what I came up with as far as this album goes. I'm pretty happy with it. It filled 16 pages, and of course my client will get to choose what they wanna keep, what they want to delete, and I think we have a good variety of different types of spreads. There aren't two identical spreads right next to each other. And we also have some large photos as well as some that are smaller and more of a sequence like this one right here. So. This looks good to me. This spread, I just did want to point out. Yes, I know this photo technically comes before that one, but I like the look of the two of them looking in towards each other versus out. Although now that I switched it, lies, all lies. We're gonna keep it like that. I really don't mind though, if there are some that are chronologically incorrect, not a huge deal. I think the last thing I wanna do is switch this there's a nicer picture of him smiling. And then I don't usually like the head cut off type pictures on the bottom. I like them on the top. I just think it looks more intentional versus a mistake that way. So this looks good to me. Thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you next time.